Hello everyone and welcome to SGV TV. We're here with June Clivis all the way from La Puente, California. Hello June, how are you? Hello, hello, thanks for having me. June is a singer songwriter. She also plays guitar. Guitar on, what kind of guitar do you play on? I play on a um, Penguin Gretsch, a white and gold specifically. And that's an acoustic? That's, or no, it's, it's an, an acu acoustic electric. Yeah. It's an acoustic electric, very right. cool. But you do also play electric from what I do some research on. Uh -huh, I do, I do, yeah. I play a little bit of everything, a little bit of drum space, um, you know, and the well, guitar is the, the one I played since I was like 14. Oh, very cool. So that's how long you've been playing for? Yeah. And you've been singing since, I assume, you were a kid. <laughs> Well, that's what my family says, but for like for me to really say like I started singing, I was well, right out of high school. I started an all-girl band, wow. and from there I just couldn't stop. What was the name of your band? We were called Stella. It was uh, four girls out of high school, best friends, mm -hmm. kind of. It was fun, punk rock a little bit. Oh, very cool. <laughs> yeah. And currently you're in a band. I am. And this is June Clivus and the Diddy Boys. Correct. Very cool. And how long has that group been together for? Uh, we've been together since, well, it was an idea in the end of 2017, but it really came together maybe 2018, 2019, like mm -hmm. the end of 2018, starting 2019. So we got maybe about five years. Now, the thing that I noticed is that you've been able to jump right back on the bandwagon as far as getting back into gigs, even though the pandemic, it didn't seem to phase you. No. Um, so yeah, I, what I try to do is I try to keep the band busy during... Uh, during the pandemic. So, um, you know, we would still do um, like uh, local radio interviews and um, online um, online shows like Pigs Radio, where, you know, it was like a full concert oh, with lights cool. and everything. People oh, watch it from wow. home. So the boys and I, you know, we would take pictures. Whatever it was, we kept writing. Mm -hmm. And so um, as soon as it was over, we went straight into recording. We came out with lots of music. So you have two albums out? We do. Okay, and the first album is called don't Tell Mama. Correct. And the second album is called Howl For You. That's Correct. the most recent one that just That's came out. That's the most recent. I, I think that came out in 20, uh, 22? 22. Yeah. And the single off of that one is Howlin For You. Correct. Said. Okay, yeah. so I just want to make sure I got that right. That's correct. Oh, very cool. And you have a holiday single? We do. We have a holiday single out. Um, you can find it on Instagram or all streaming records. Um, it's a Christmas song. It's called Christmas Ghost Town. So it kind of has a take on, a, you know, hopefully your fav next favorite holiday song. There you go. And um, it, it's kind of spooky and um, has to do with Christmas. And check it out. It's and really cool. That's all. And you have some CDs here that we oh, do. Yeah. Okay. So this is, oh, let's see. Oh, don't tell mama. Very cool. And back, check out that artwork. Very cool. And howl for you. Now you did this all on your own? No, no, no. We had some help, but you know, unfortunately, I forgot to write it down. Okay, um, that's fine. I feel so silly. I'm sorry, guys. No, no, this is great. And I, I wanted to check out your. You have T-shirts as well. We do. Do you sell that alongside your CDs? Yeah, all we have T-shirts, tank tops, um, stickers, buttons, all that fun stuff. Okay, and I want to show your artwork because you have very unique artwork. Oh, right thank now. you. Let's see that. Check that out. <laughs> so. Um, it came out at, you know, at first it was just like chicken scratch. You know, I had the idea of what I wanted it to look like. Right. And then so I passed it on to a girlfriend who vamped it up. Um, she goes by uh, Cat Chaos. Uh -huh. And um, thank you very much. Uh, it's a hit. Everybody yes. loves the shirts. Yes. Yes. They're beautiful. Thank you. So, June, I noticed that your band members all wear the same thing on stage. Yes. So, I'm kind of a stickler about presents. So, um, the funny thing is, you know, I'll, I'll shop online. I'll go to Wrangler or wh whatever, you know. And like, if I like the shirts, clothes, bolos, mm -hmm. you know, I'll pick them up for the guys. And be like, okay, guys, this is what we're going to wear in this festival or for this show. It's really cool. You know, um, it's fun. You know, it's, it's all about presents. And, but, yeah, I, I, there, there is definitely some... Um, uniform going on <laughs> definitely yeah. how do you attract these kind of band members do you, <laughs> do, you, do you put out posts do you just go to gigs and you, you go up to these these band players and you're like you know what i think you fit in what i'm doing how do you find these players you know because um, fiddle fiddle is a very unique instrument so is banjo sure it sure is so banjo is really funny because that my banjo player is my uncle who taught me how to play guitar when oh, i was younger very cool so um so we were in rock and roll bands before this band and i told him one day i was like you know i really want to start like an outlaw country type band but i really want a banjo player 
And of course, he could pick up any instrument and master it with the days. He was like, all right, never picked one up in his life. No and way. Picked it up, and here we are. <laughs> oh, wow. So you, you call your genre outlaw music. Yes. Now, can you give me images as to, to what I could say the genre is like? So I call it outlaw western rock and roll because it has the touch of, um, well, like outlaw. So it's like yeah, your Johnny Cash, your Dolly Parton, you know, stuff like that. However, it has the touch of like just, uh, what's the word? Like, um, um, there's a rough a roughness, roughness to, to it. it. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. There's a roughness to it. There's rock and roll. Because I hear it in your voice. You have a, you sometimes you like you draw from a growl in your voice. <laughs> And it's it's amazing. Thank you have you have so much stage presence. Oh, thank you. And and I and I haven't been able to catch you in person because of the pandemic yet. But I all your videos, it's just like there's so much energy. <laughs> so, but it, it's just you know being in the moment, and it, it's the most amazing feeling. I, I just I love it. And how do you capture that in the studio? Um, it's it's. So what we have been doing lately is um, we've been recording like uh, like a live recording. And so um, it, it's, it's slightly different, but when you're in the studio and you have the headphones on and you hear the, um, the feeling of it all, you know, it, it gets really loud and you just you go with it. You seem like the type of band that just runs through it maybe once or twice and you capture that image and then you move on to the next. Is it, or do you, or do you, do you clean up a lot in the studio? No, no. In the studio, we actually do clean up. Um, I think that's when we get a little bit nervous to make our, make sure that we do clean up the sound a little bit. Okay. But um, yeah, thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> you sound yeah. no, you guys sound great. You sound that good. Thank you. And you have other collaborations going on besides the outlaw genre. Is that right? Yeah. So I collaborated with a gentleman named um, Milo Castillo, who worked with um, uh, Cirrus Cyrus Cirrus FM. Mm-hmm. And um, anyways, he does a lot of like like hip hop and um, EDM style music. So he wrote a couple stuff and um, said if I can do something with that. And mm-hmm. absolutely, you know, um, I I just I, I sang on them and it was just it was it's a whole different genre and it was so different to get your voice from doing some one thing to another, but it's still just powerful. But um, yeah, it's like an EDM genre. It's really different, but it's really neat. Do you, is it something where you record your voice voice over and over and over again, or do you get tired? I, or is it uh, an endurance thing where you have to just go for a long period of time, or are you repeating a lot of your lines? I, I'm not sure about EDM. You have to explain some of that genre to me. A little yeah, bit. you know, um, I was thinking about it. Yeah, it was. Um, it is a lot of repeating. Um, it, it's different. Do you, but does your voice swoon? What kind? What, is it? Uh, it's kind of dreamy, it's I guess dreamy. you could say. Yeah, it's a little bit on the dreamy side, but like danceable and um, it's. Uh, I don't really listen to too much EDM to know like how to like no, how I, to compare I, it to, but definitely, you know, um, I've heard some, so I'm like, okay, it has to be in this genre, and I, that's. But it's really cool, you know. Maybe there's somewhere there we could put a link where you could find it or yes, something. Yes, definitely. Know, so it's whole. It's, it's a whole different genre than what I'm used to in any category. I've never done anything like it, but I do like it. I, I would you like to do more? Absolutely, I wouldn't mind. I, I like to be taken out of my comfort zone and mm-hmm. seeing what else I can do with it. You know, just building ideas and being creative. Definitely. Yeah. And then you were talking about other collaborations with other artists besides EDM. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have Lil Sue and the Cow Tippers. Yeah. So uh, we got together with um, some members of Lil Sue and the Cow Tippers, the, the singer Sue, um, her bass player Tony. And then um, we got together with Hal and Moon with the singer Sicko, Slicko and um, his drummer. And we did our own version, our own um, Halloween version of um, I Put a Spell on You. Oh, wow. And it came out really fun. Yeah, it was really fun. It's up, up on YouTube right now. You can oh, find it. Oh, very cool. Yeah. It's, it's a cool little version, you know. Um, it's our own version. So I can't compare it to any other, you know. But uh, yeah, check it out. It's on YouTube. Okay, very cool. Yeah. And then, so as far as where your music takes you from here, you have gigs coming up in April and this summer. Yeah. uh, Locally and far away. Let's talk about what the far away gigs. All right, so far away. Well, in the summertime, we're traveling out to Colorado. We're playing the Hot Rod Rock and Rumble Festival both Thursday, Friday and Saturday of August. You can check the link on that to get the exact dates. Um, and in between that, we'll be driving up um, around, so you'll probably catch us out in New Mexico, Utah, um, Arizona, uh, 
the dates will be up and the um, places will be up so you can see that. Cool. And then, we, and then um, April, we're traveling up north. We're going to Chico, California, whoop whoop, and to San Francisco. We'll be out that way. And as far as the uh, local gigs, um, we're going to be recording soon. So we're trying to uh, practice and get everything straight and before we go into the studio. Um, we don't really have too many local, but I have a couple of uh, solos. I um, have one coming up at the Aztec um, Hotel in Monrovia. That's on Cinco de Mayo. And um, what else? I'm also um, part of the singer-songwriter contest that's happening out in um, Solvang at the High Roller Tiki. Very cool. So um, last year, I can't remember what month it was, what this gentleman does is he picks, you know, there's this 10 contestants, and out of the 10, I, I came out first. And he goes in different state um, cities. So out of the 10, all the 10 number ones um, got picked up to all um, compete against each other, which wow. is going to be uh, next month at the High Roller Tiki. And, so um, go support. Yeah, you can totally go see that. Um, there's a link there you can get tickets for as well. Um, I'm just excited. I'm, I, you know, it's humbling to be part of... Um, a collective of like that people of yes. creators yes yes that that alone itself makes you nervous because you know you don't you you create for yourself right. and you know you write for yourself but you never really think about um putting it in for a competition or or you know because you're just so in awe with everybody and else it's not here it's in solving it's somewhere it's in, else it's yeah cool. that's not yeah you're right it's not in our hometown it's uh, again, outside of our hometown, so you get to represent us. Yes, yes, I do. So um, I'm excited for that. That's in uh, April, Saturday, April 13. Um, yeah, so Very that, cool. that's fun. So w one last, uh, I just wanted to go over the your merchandise again and where they can find you online. Sure. Okay, so online, you said Instagram. Yes. That's the main place that you want people to contact you through that's usually where you'll find me at if um on instagram i run the page so um if you need to get a hold of me for any um, reason you can Booking. find me on Inst yeah or june clivus at yahoo if, if you need to get a hold of us that's also me um but yeah you can find anything from youtube june clivus and the diddy boys on youtube spotify all, all the um what is it all the social networking yeah downloading online everything. yeah all that fun stuff and um what else? As far as, far as merch, too, you could directly um, email. Um, if you check online, you see what we have available. We have that as well. Um, what else? But yeah. That's good. Yeah, pretty cool. And I, I really appreciate you coming today, June, because you. because you represent girls. Yeah. You represent people of the outlaw genre. You represent people from the San Gabriel Valley. And, and you're doing it on a, on a big scale, and you've been doing it even – throughout the pandemic, which is incredible. You're, you're a great example for all the artists out there that, Thank that you. make excuses, but you don't make excuses. <laughs> you can, you gotta just get out there and do it. You don't make them. So thank you, June, and- And uh, can I just do a shout out to my boys, all of them, you know? Uh, Tino, our drummer. Yes. Amazing guy, drums, you know that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, we, Manny, our banjo player, Aki, our fiddle player, Joe, our current upright bass player. Um, thank you guys. Uh, they're hardworking. I, I can't even explain. Like, I, I'm really blessed to be working with such phenomenal musicians. Definitely. Thank you, June. Thank you. Thank you.